having a great day today thanks for taking the time out to stop in and check out my video now if you're like me I've got two big pet peeves the first one is I hate wasting time when I'm on the water I hate dinking around when I'm out there I want to be fishing as much as possible the second one is I hate beating stuff up that I paid good more money for money easy for me to say <laughs> I hate beating that stuff up for no given reason something where this happens a lot it hits both of those pet peeves is in my rod locker I have a bunch of rods in here and you know before you know I'm sure you've all had it happen before you go to reach in and somehow that rod managed to get tangled with every other rod in there how it happens I don't know but it does okay the other thing you know when you're on a long road trip you're going over the bumpy roads I live in northern Wisconsin where the roads are you know barely better than gravel so you're, you're bouncing around a lot when you're going to the lake. When you're out on the lake, obviously you're hitting waves and stuff. All those rods and reels are, are bouncing when they're in there. And a lot of the reels will bounce up against one another, get some scratches on them and stuff. Um, so I finally got sick of that and I, I invested in a few products. So for every rod that I have, I went out and I bought a rod glove. Okay, it just slides on here. Um, I usually get the standard size. One thing I did do for my shorter rods, if you'll take a look at this one when I pull it off, hopefully you can see that in the sun, but basically I just took the bottom of it where it's normally just barely folded in, and I ran it up, oh I don't know, a good six inches or so in this one, just to take some of the, the uh, length out of it. It still works just like the other ones, slides right over the top real easy, but what that does is on these shorter rods when you use your hook hangers, the rod glove's not all the way down on top of that getting caught in your hooks. Like if you have a treble hook bait on there, let's say I put a top water on here, um, you know, the, that regular sleeve would go all the way down to here. So I rolled it up so it fits the shorter ones a little bit better. And then for the reel, I bought reel gloves. Obviously I, I like that company. I think they make really good products. It's, it's just a simple neoprene sleeve. I don't know that I put it on the right way even, but I'll explain that in a second. All I do is fork it over top of the, uh, the handles, stretches underneath, and it goes on there just like that. Now the reason I do put it on there that way is because it doesn't kink my line coming off the reel. I bought some other uh, uh, reel covers before, and if the reel wasn't on the rod, and even if it, even if it was off, it was going all the way under here so it's pinching your line every time you put it on there and obviously you don't want to put a weak spot in your line for no reason either so that's why I put them on that way I really like them they've held up well for me I'd suggest you do the same or get the the same ones um, also this little deal here is from Bass Pro I believe it's actually marketed as an Alabama rig cover to hold the wires in but they come in a couple different sizes and what I do is if I have a bait with treble hooks on it you just wrap it around and velcro it back together now what that'll do is that'll keep the the hooks away from your other rod gloves if there's uh, some exposed line those hooks aren't going to get tangled in that and it's going to make for a whole lot easier uh, time getting it out of the rod locker again maximizing your time on the water yeah it takes a couple seconds to put this stuff on but it's pretty quick uh, and it's going to save you a whole lot of headache in the, in the long run. So I suggest you guys go out and give, try to get your rod locker a little more organized. Um, 
In the description, I'm going to have links to the products that I use as well as my social media. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me on there, that'd be great. Don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time stopping in. And until next time, God bless and good luck on the water. Mm -hmm.